I was at the bank last week. Oh, you couldn't tell who the good guys were or the bank robbers. Live from Pine Top, Arizona, it's that painting show starring the Color Queen. Welcome to day eight of that painting show. Thanks for joining us. Today, as promised, we are going to talk about the amazing power of line. But first... You look marvelous, by oh, the way. Oh, thank you. Did you get a new hairstylist? Actually, Dr. John, I've given myself so many COVID cuts, haircuts, that uh, I had to buy a wig. Kind of looks like Bob Ross. Well, that's not all bad. <laughs> you know, Bob Ross brought the joy of painting to the world. So I've always admired him for that. And uh, this is kind of silly looking, but it's all right. So, Dr. John, who is today's lucky duck? The lucky duck today is Vivian from Belgium. Vivian? Vivian in a long time. She, <laughs> oddly enough, she says, how does Bob Ross make his happy little trees? Guess what, Vivian? I was ready for you. He uses a fan brush. Have you all seen a fan brush? It looks like a fan, like a lady's fan, you know, and flamenco dancing or old ladies with hot flashes, whatever. And I've done a sample. Happy little trees. What you do is you take this fan brush, you dilute the paint a little bit, and then you take the brush and actually tap it against the canvas straight down to make the trunk. A little bit of diluted paint. And see the edges? I'm just going to use the edge of the fan. I'm not going to use the whole fan. And I'm going to go back and forth and kind of rock my strokes. See how I'm just kind of tapping? Tapping back and forth. This is, a, I guess, a spruce tree. Back and forth, wider and wider stro strokes, broader. I can always come back in and touch these up if I don't like them too much. But it's just a gentle tap rocking back and forth all the way to the bottom of the trunk marvelous thank you and if you have any little bare spots just take that edge and touch it again looks like a regular forest all right on to today's actual instruction When we talk about line, line's a very important part of painting. Actually, a more important part of drawing. But I'm going to show you, here's a list of many, there are dozens of types of lines. But dotted lines, you see, along the road. Straight lines, you know. Curved lines, you know. Curly lines. Squiggly lines. Jagged lines, diagonal lines, horizontal lines, vertical lines, directional lines, lines with character. That means thin and thick. Textured lines, lines that could be, look like they're barbed wire or fabric or something. Or even a, a line that's textured that's kind of like smudged and soft. Whoops, let's make that go away. And then lines that show movement. Think about waves on the ocean. Queenie, show me how you can use all these lines. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm going to have to clean this up a little bit here. Oh, I forgot, I forgot one. Lines can create shapes. 
This is very important. Shape's not another topic, but lines, if they, if that's a line, but if it connects and encloses an area, that is called a shape. There's geometrical shapes, circles, triangles, squares, and then there's organic shapes, amoebas or beans or leaves or whatever. FYI. Looking good. Thank you. Okay. So let's just say we are going to do a drawing. We have our canvas. First of all, if we're just going to do a landscape, we'd need a horizon line. If we have our horizon line, which is where the sky meets the earth, way up high, our mountains, our clouds, whatever, are going to be really far away. And everything in the foreground is going to be more important. If we have our horizon line lower, say you're at the beach, the ocean, the sun is setting, big clouds. So wherever you put that line, place that line on your canvas, high or low, gives you the option to have more of the important part of your composition be above or below the horizon line. Looking good. Thank you. As Dr. John asked, I'm going to go ahead and show you how all these lines can kind of create a composition. I'm going to put a horizon line halfway down. I'm going to use a, and that's a straight line. I'm going to use a line that has some contour to it. Maybe some character, thin and thick, to create mountains. I'm going to have some lines that create shape, like a geometric line. Maybe that's the sun setting. Some lines that create organic shapes. Let's throw in some big old clouds here. Now this is a drawing, not a painting. There's a difference. I'm going to have some vertical lines that create, when repeated, a pattern. Look at here. We have a Suaro cactus. Organic shapes. I'm going to have some jagged lines. That create those scraggly bushes in the foreground. I'm going to have some squiggly lines that look like other bushes that are a little different definition. I'm going to have what is it? A curved line, curved line. Maybe I'll have a a path. Whoops! Let's have the path come from the back. A path that comes, or a river that comes from way back here. That's a curved line. That will give us some, and that also is a directional line. Vertical lines, horizontal lines, directional lines. We can create shadows by, let's say our light source is from up here. The dark side of the mountain is going to be there. Maybe I'll just put some dark some dark shadows I'll also have some directional lines that are going to show us well the mountain actually curves there are there are rock formations and are curves going this way and this way lines with character maybe I already did that one oh texture We have a big old saguaro here. 
So we're going to make lines, which are very short lines. One of these gives a sense that something is spiny and spiky and might hurt if you touched it. lines. Let's do some little tiny curly lines back here. Let's define some organic shapes back here. Maybe some trees or some bushes along the way. Let's so show some distance here with our lines by making smaller shapes far away. Texture? Yes. Have we done character? Yes. Diagonal. Have we missed any, Dr. John? Uh, let's see. You have movement, texture, character, directional. I think that's complete. Also, well, I, they also create shadows, so we kind of have like the shadow side. Say, if you were to do a drawing of this cactus, you actually trying to take your time to do a good drawing, you would have the dark side and create some darkness with more lines on that side of the cactus. You'd also probably put a little character line, a little heavier line, or you even smudge it for your, oops, I don't know if that's going to work, <laughs> but you could make a little character, a little heavier line on the underside of your clouds, which would give that more weight. So is that good enough? By me, it's marvelous. Thank you. Okay. Well, I hope that was helpful. Lines amazing. Uh, we're gonna we're also gonna talk about shape and texture and form in the next couple of days. I well, Queenie, we'll... Queenie, what is your next segment? Actually, I think I decided on texture because I have a, a great painting that I had started that used a lot of actual texture. So actual texture and implied texture. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Today's special, super special is our purses. Uh, we have these cute little uh, crossbody strap purses that are available through our website. They look great with this wig. <laughs> uh, my artwork printed on recycled leather, handmade in Cave Creek, by the way. Printed in Scottsdale and handmade in Cave Creek. We have your uh, designer zipper pull, the Z. They are lined inside with a light color so you can find your stuff. They're signed inside and uh, we have two sizes. This is, this wig is something. <laughs> This is a small size for 119, and then we have the large size for 129. The dimensionals will be on the website. They also come in a black background. I just didn't happen to have any up here to show you. Queenie, is that part of the super sale of the day? That's what it is. And also, we are down to about four pillows on the super sale. We still have no cards. Uh, check our website. We have lots of stuff in our store. Next. Crane, least but not least, last, what are today's pearls of wisdom? I'm not even going to try the beret over this wig. <laughs> the pearls of wisdom come from Mark Twain. He says, age is an issue of mind over matter. If you don't mind, it doesn't matter. Thanks for joining us. Be safe. Be well. Cheers. Bye-bye.